the last video, I explained to you how to defend against the pick at goal line extended. In this next shot, I'm going to show you how to defend against the ball behind the goal. The first thing we want to focus on is keeping this attackman as a one-dimensional player. If we allow him to get above goal line extended, he now becomes a two-dimensional player where he can either shoot the ball or pass the ball. The way we approach the ball back here is square to the body, forcing him in one direction. What we want to focus on here is starting out with the cushion so he cannot run by us at the first step. As the attackman starts to dodge, he's looking inside the feed somewhere. My main focus is to keep the head of my stick right on his gloves to stop him from making a good pass. As he continues to dodge upfield, I need to get my body into him to stop him from driving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my forearm, I'm going to push, I'm going to step away and get the head of my stick right back on his gloves to stop him from feeding. Now as the attackman starts to re-dodge, what I need to do is get my body in position so he, now he has to come through me, I'm here, and it's really important that I use my legs to drive this attackman. If I just try to use my stick, he's going to run right through that. I need to get my body behind us, use my legs, and drive with my legs to get him away from the goal. As I do that, I put my stick right back at him and stop him from becoming a feeder. In this next segment, I'll show you some drills on how we do this. This is the drill we use, shadow defense behind the goal. In this drill, the defender will approach the ball, backpedal a little bit, so use his cushion. Now he's gonna poke a little bit, get the stick in the gloves, you see a push step away, and as he gets the goal line extended, he's gonna turn and drive, forcing his attack from back behind the goal. The main key points here is to keep your feet moving, keep your stick out, and always in the attack on his gloves to stop him from being a good feeder. As we get towards the goal line, we gotta turn our body, use our legs, drive, and force that attack from back behind the goal. This concludes our lacrosse defensive series. I've explained to you how to defend against picks in both the indoor and outdoor setting and the correct ways to approach the ball both on the wing and behind. Thank you for watching and I hope you practice these at home to make you a better defensive player.